and welcome to Creative Design and Supply. Today, I want to show you how to use our Gang Sheet Builder. So we have videos on using Canva Pro and Silhouette Business Edition for people that have used or have that cutter and they can save it as a transparent PNG. For the ones that cannot, we have the Gang Sheet Builder for you. All right, so now we're on our home page and I have my icon a little bit bigger so that way you can see where I'm going. So right here from the home page, you can come over here and you click custom heat UV gang sheet builder. So now right here, this is your gang sheet builder. So we are going to click here. And once you go here, you don't want to add anything to the cart just yet. After you want to choose the size. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a 22 by 24. That way you can see my whole screen and I will change it for you. Now rush orders will be charged an additional $25. You don't have to do this and it will be ready within one business day. And then you will need to check this right here. This is required. I understand that my ready to apply transfers will be available to pick up or shipment 24 to 48 hours after order is received by staff. Exceptions apply during holiday season. Website orders are processed Monday through Friday only, and I understand that Color Splash Ultra sizes vary depending on design. And that means if they're vertical or horizontal, what, what their longest length is. Okay, so you would need to click this. Now that I have all that clicked, I'm going to go ahead and click Build a Gang Sheet. All right, so now you have three different options here. You can start a brand new gang sheet. You can move stuff around yourself or you can open a previous one. Now that is if you've been working on one and you've signed in. I will get to that in just a moment. So here I like auto build. That way you just tell it your sizes, your quantities and voila. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use this one. Now right up here, I do recommend that you register it's very quick. You just put a password and a um, email in. And then that way, if you've built a gang sheet and you need another one of that, no problem. You just click in your galleries, add it and go on. But we are going to go ahead and we are going to use from my images. I want to show you a few different things. So these are web images that I have taken off of our website. And I want to show you the print quality. So I'm gonna select this one, and I'm also going to select this one, okay? And right here, it shows you on your auto build, your margin. So that's the space between it. So you can leave it there, or you can go, I like to go around three, no more than that, because it's just, it may get too close. But this builder will help you if you do overlap. So here I want to go ahead and I am going to, I'm not going to change the width because then it would be wider. And you always want to keep the lock aspect ratio because you never want to stretch a design. So here I'm, since it's taller in a design, I'm going to go 10 because I'm putting it on, an, on a large size shirt. So now I need, say, four of those, okay? I'm going to come over here. This is extremely large. So now you see that this one is a wider image. So I'm going to do that one at 10 also. And then I'm going to say I need eight. All right. So now I'm going to click apply. All right. So it gives you different options here. So since I did a 22 by 24, it's telling me I would need three. But here with the 22 by 70, I would only need one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this one and you see how it's, so now I can continue. So now I wanna show you, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit because you want to concentrate on the blocks around your design. This builder has a key code. So right over here, it shows you what is best. So if I have one overlapping, look, it turns blue because it shows you show overlapping. Okay. 
but actually the boxes are black and that is terrible resolution. You always want all of your boxes to be green. So if you're worried about how it will print, this is going to take care of everything for you. So I'm going to go ahead and if I was to use these, it would have to be so small. So that's two inches. You never want to use anything like that. So I'm just going to delete. And then you can add more. And the cool thing about this is this right here, you can add text to. So if you find a design and if you don't own a cutter and weeding or any of that nonsense, um, here is a good way. So you can actually go up here, add text. That was the last thing I did. Now there's a few fonts that you can choose from. Um, it's a few different ones. So I'm just going to use that one. And I'm going to do Miss Smith. Okay. So now that I have it, but see, it's going to be overlapping. So I'm just going to, and this is great for people that do not have a cutter. They want to get into this game. So now it shows me that it's lined up. And if I overlap or put it, it shows a blue box around that, that it's opened. So you want to move it up and you can keep doing this. Just add text. Um, come up here. You can size it down. These are great for Christmas, anything like that. So, and you can flip, you can flip all of these around. The only one that I don't suggest using let's see, where is, it, is the stretch or the vertical moving. I would, you could tilt things around, but it's whatever you have highlighted. Okay. So you can move things around. All right, so now say I'm going to go ahead and just change this back to, I don't need that many. So it shows me right here that these are not going to print. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those. Well, I'm going to leave this one just to show you. See, it says images are overlapping and designed. So whenever I go to add to cart, you get a few different things that tell you that it is not properly. You see that blue box and it pops up that. And if you have anything white and you want to make sure, even though it has this gray and white grid, you can change so you can make sure. But this game sheet builder is going to show you if you're overlapping just like that. Okay, so say now I am ready. And I'm everything looks good. I want to add to cart. Okay, so now I have it all how I want it. I'm going to save, add to cart. You can name it whatever you want, teacher. So that way um, it will be in your designs. And the good thing about this is it takes care of all the worry for you. No overlapping images, no low resolution images and no items overlapping on the artboard. So now I just click add to cart. It's going to exit. I'm going to take you over here. You're going to fill out all your information and you're going to go to checkout. All right. So you want to do this on the back end and not the front. So you want to go ahead and accept on the understanding. Make sure that you have the size. I don't need a rush but you do need to click this and then you go to add to cart. Then you come and then you can proceed to check out and pay. All right. If you have any other questions, comment below and I would be glad to answer them for you. And as always, have a great day.